Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I hope uh, you can hear me. Uh, you can see me well. Let me double check. Uh, and uh, I'm not gonna check if there's a sound or anything. But anyway, so uh, I decided to connect today and do a short a live session uh, based on one of the questions one of you asked the last time and that is one of the common questions I am getting okay uh, you know and the question is about uh, <laughs> what I'm using as a workbench as of now and uh, some of the students of my school online school school of woodcarving.com so in some of the courses uh, that uh, my workstation or workbench changed with the time and the question is what I'm using right now and what I think about it is it the really the best workbench for wood carving uh, uh, I, I probably have to give you my opinion even about uh, my workstation. Well, first of all, do you really need to have a workbench? Uh, I don't know. I probably it's a good to have. Uh, you know, it's not like, uh, let's say, in a general woodworking, you can't do anything without the workbench. With wood carving, a lot of stuff you can do just uh, on a dining table. So, and I've done some uh, big projects like the whole room just on a dining table. Okay. And the dining table, if you know how to, you know, make it secure, if you can use some clamps or some kind of, you know, you, you can put actually a piece of, I don't know, plywood and then fasten your piece of what you're working on and it's still going to be uh, sufficient okay uh, and like i said like i said i've done uh, lots of uh, projects just on a dining table and uh, i really do have a nice wife she actually saw a lot of <laughs> that stuff uh, to answer your first question do you really need a workbench not really. Well, you do, but not really. I mean, you can get by. That is the beauty of wood carving. You can carve inside of the apartment if you don't have a, your own house. Or in a condo if you live somewhere in a condo. And uh, it doesn't produce a lot of noise. Unless if you bang with uh, you know mallet all day long. It doesn't really produce any noise. And uh, I'm carving for a long time, pretty much all my life. And uh, my workbench or table, whatever you call it, changed. I, I can't say one is better than another one. Uh, but lately, lately, I really love uh, my setup. Okay, I really do love what I have right now. Uh, it's not that big. It's only about uh, 24 by 24, uh, like 2 feet by 2 feet. Uh, it does have, you know, some uh, holes, which is, uh, let me actually take this out. I don't need that anymore. And I can just show that to you what I'm using, okay? So it does have uh, some holes, which is uh, 19 millimeters holes. Uh, uh, to be exact, uh, three quarters of an inch uh, made for imperial uh, workbenches and so on. Uh, it just accept any uh, any accessories pretty much, you know, just because of those holes, you know, just for the, you know, anything can be used. I'm using, as of now for this table, I'm using uh, Veritas and I really love it. I really like uh, the Veritas stuff. Uh, and it's actually made by uh, Veritas, okay? So that is uh, not the workbench. Uh, uh, the base for it, you have to build yourself. Uh, but the top, uh, the top itself, and I'm not talking about just the wood part, but uh, the overall, uh, whatever you see from this point uh, to that point, it's actually made by Veritas. Now, 
a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not uh, sponsored. I'm not uh, affiliated uh, with Veritas or Lee Valley, and they don't even have that program. Okay, so I'm not gonna make even one cent from it. So please, uh, I'm not biased about it. Okay, so that is gonna be just my true opinion. Uh, what I think about uh, that workbench. Is it the best wood carver's bench? Well, it's actually wood carver's top, okay? And the bench itself you can build. Uh, uh, I even don't know if they sell that stuff uh, any longer. Uh, you can probably get uh, some used ones or just to check once in a while uh, Veritas stuff. It's a Veritas carver's bench top. That's what it is. Okay, just Google it. Uh, I'll try to find the link and maybe just put that uh, in description below. Again, I am not affiliated with those guys, uh, but I use a lot of stuff from Lee Valley Veritas. I like planes. I like uh, router plane. I like uh, just the hand planes. Uh, you know, I'm not comparing them with uh, uh, Lee Nelson. I really like both of them. Lynn Nielsen is more classical and uh, Veritas is more modernized, I would say. But uh, for some of the stuff, you can't beat, uh, you know, Veritas. I really like, for example, this, okay? I really like it. Uh, first of all, the bench top itself is, uh, I mean, you could glue it together and just buy it for the mechanism, uh, what it has, which is a beautiful stuff. So what I like about it, okay, and what I don't like about it. Well, first of all, let me put this out. What I don't really like about it. I don't like that they put uh, some shiny finish on it. So if you look at it, so see that shiny finish? I mean, that's a workbench. You can see, you know, all, uh, uh, you know, damage marks and so on. And, uh, you know, you're going to damage it, all right? So you're going to damage it. So that's what I don't like it. And that's pretty much it. Everything else, I love it. So number one, uh, you know you have a problem when you uh, have a bigger piece and you have to attack from uh, uh, all different directions. And really what you have to do, just walk around in most of the cases. And if you're gonna use just a, a dining table or just a normal workbench, woodworker's bench, so that is what you have to do. Either just uh, unclamp it, rotate the piece, and attack from the right angle. And that's really important uh, when you're working with uh, uh, a wood carving project to carve with the grain. And uh, to do that, you constantly have to rotate the piece. Number one with this one, uh, it's actually rotates really easy. It has a handle on the side, and it just rotates any direction I want to. So that is what I love about it, okay? So if I need to attack uh, from any uh, direction, let me put that piece right there and uh, easily, easily, I can rotate it with no problema, okay? So just like that. It's number one what I love about this uh, wood carver's bench. I think this one is the best so far, the best wood carver's bench or best bench for the wood carver, okay? Second thing, so you not only rotate, sometimes you have to work right from the side uh, and if you have just normal workbench, if you have uh, like a woodworker's workbench, you really have to kneel down and just uh, work your way in. And with this one, you really don't have to. There's a second handle and uh, it's actually flips. You can just want to, okay? And just attack from uh, whatever and it still rotates, okay? And you can attack pretty much from any angle. So that is what I love about this really easy it just really holds you know it's really stable okay really stable but again uh, uh, it's not uh, they don't sell workbench completely the whole setup uh, you can buy uh, the stand like a cast iron stand from veritas i'm not sure if they're gonna sell it or not I, I don't think they sell it, but you can probably find it, but I don't like it. I don't like the overall shape. It's just too dangerous. You can't walk around. Google it. You'll see. You'll know exactly what I mean. I built my uh, stand. Uh, it's actually 
uh, less, it's not as wide, it's about 17 inches actually pretty much uh, underneath of this work uh, top, okay? So it's a 17 inches, but it's a super, super heavy. It's stable. I can't, I can't really move it. Well, I can move my microphone, but I can't move my bench. It's about, I don't know, it's over 200 pounds, maybe about 300 pounds, something like that. So, uh, I do have some wheels, of course, but let me show what I've done. I'm not going to reposition my cameras for this. I'm going to just show you uh, my iPad, and you'll see exactly what I've done. That is how it looks, all right? So, pretty much, this is the top, okay? So, that is the part which you see right here, okay? So, that is the, the top. So, that is the thing, all right? Uh, I showed you the handle, and uh, uh, the handle is going to be right here. So, that would be the handle. Let me change the color for you just to see that much better. That would be the handle, okay? But what I've done, uh, I created actually the base, and uh, I've got four posts, all right? So, those four posts are solid wood. So they just going all the way down. Uh, what I did also, I connected uh, whatever the wheels for the bench and that stuff you can buy pretty much uh, in any woodworkers uh, store. Uh, you can buy, the good ones is actually Rockler. Uh, you can remove it and it's not gonna be on your way and uh, once you need to move it, you can put it back and uh, roll it. So that is why I installed the uh, uh, the, those bench wheels all right so now what i've done uh, around i've got a uh, panels okay panels just all around and on inside uh, what's uh, what's inside of those between those panels i use athletic weights from barbells those big discs really heavy ones uh, 45 pounds and they fit exactly between those panels, okay? Just a bunch of those uh, athletic weights. You could use, um, uh, well, I use uh, some uh, discs from uh, barbell and I used also dumbbells, okay? Just to uh, create, uh, you know, more weight, like a couple of really heavy 75 pounds uh, dumbbells. You could use a sand. Okay, and I used before on another bench, uh, I used just uh, sandbags and I also packed that. But what I found uh, when you weigh it together, uh, overall, you know, if you're going to compare athletic weights, uh, which is a cast iron, versus uh, sand, cast iron is heavier. So it actually takes a lot less space and a lot less mess if I need to rebuild the this, this thing. Now, uh, another question, uh, why my workbench is so high, okay? Because woodworker's bench is much lower. So you pretty much uh, going by the knuckle right there is your worker's bench because you just kneel down and uh, use your plane. Uh, wood carver's bench, on the other hand, got to be higher. Uh, the, one of the rule of thumbs, it has to be about the same height as uh, elbow. That way you don't have to bend over. That's why it's really important to have the right height so uh, to prevent the backache, if, especially if you're working all day long. So that is why a good height for the woodwork, uh, wood carver's bench would be the height of an uh, elbow. So that way you can work all day long, no problem, no problem. So uh, there's a, a different approach. Now uh, you can uh, estimate by the hand spans, like a five spans from the bottom to the top, it's going to be approximately a good height for you. Or for me, it's easier just to go by the elbow. I'm not uh, estimating by the inches because we all different, you know, some of you like, you know, I don't know, <laughs> seven feet and some of you only five feet and uh, just to get something for yourself. That is another reason why is it a good idea to just uh, buy workbench top and not the base and build the base uh, yourself okay so what else I forgot so let me show that one more time how it looks overall so again uh, the 
the bench base is just a simple construction four posts I've got some wheels I've got some panels which is uh, you know for some of you gonna be uh, abomination to use those panels but I use just the plywood okay I'm not uh, wanna show off of course I like uh, I would like to get a really beautiful uh, <laughs> you know uh, woodworkers bench uh, with all fancy inlays and stuff like this but uh, I'm carving for living okay I'm uh, uh, for me it's a lot more important what I'm doing on the bench versus how it looks well it is important okay I mean don't get me wrong I really like how it looks also but again okay more important what I'm doing on that bench and that is the most important okay. so now the question is it the best is that the best? I mean, you can build your own and make it as fancy as you wish. My answer, as of now, just because of that, just because of uh, how I can rotate, how easily I don't have to walk around, attack from any position, in my opinion, Veritas, you can buy it from Lee Valley. Veritas wood carver's bench top is the best. The base from Veritas is not so good. Okay, build your own base, get your athletic weights, get your dumbbells, and uh, definitely, definitely buy that. Uh, bench if you can afford it it's ain't no cheap okay it's really expensive by the way um, and i even don't know how much it cost when i bought it it was like thousand dollars well close to thousand dollars plus minus okay so it could be more now even if you can even if you can find that i should say so again is it the best for me it is for you maybe it's too expensive and you don't want to invest but I'm carving for a living and I'm also teaching for a living and for me you know it's worth every penny of it every cent okay it worth it it worth it it worth it and the, the the bench top itself I can always replace I would just keep it for just for that cast iron the that top and the base I can always replace but the cast iron mechanism gonna last me four ever okay now check my uh, website uh, schoolofwoodcarving.com uh, for the upcoming classes in person i'll be really soon about the months from now in austin texas uh, teaching uh, two because i'm gonna have uh, a wood carving for furniture uh, it's gonna be a low relief carving and I also gonna teach, uh, I believe, classical uh, wood carving or wood carving with classical uh, flair. Uh, I don't remember if it's gonna be fundamentals or classical, but still, it's not gonna be uh, just a simple stuff. Uh, even if you never carved, it's still gonna be good for you. I mean, take a look. This project, this project, uh, we worked uh, in uh, Maine. Uh, we did this and some of the people never carved and they still were able to pull it I'm still uh, working on that and I'm filming for the school but some of the stuff we've done in person it's awesome okay uh, we've done some really good stuff oh, by the way if you uh, took my class before uh, and you know what I'm talking about uh, wood carving classes in person or online if you student of my school I really really do appreciate if you can comment for other people can uh, read it what you you know what do you think okay and um, thank you very much that's it for today this is the best bench for wood carving or the wood carver if you're doing it professionally go hug someone say i love you have a wonderful rest of your day happy holidays to you happy hanukkah happy christmas or merry christmas i should say thank you